Welcome to EdTech Hustle. Have you ever had an annoying image with a white background like this that you just wanted to be able to remove? I'm going to show you how you can do this in several different ways using Canva. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm right over here inside Canva. What I'm going to do is choose this option that says presentations. Okay, so now my presentation is open and I took this logo that actually has a white background around the outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to click this background area and just change the color of the background. That way I'll know when I've removed this white box. I'm going to select the photo. I'm going to choose edit photo at the top left and I'm going to choose BG remover, which stands for background remover. From here, Canva should be able to remove the background just like that. So this is good. I have the white background removed. The last step for me is to save this to a file type that is going to preserve that transparent background. So this is what you have to do and you have to make sure that you save this to a particular type of photo format. So we are going to go over to the right hand side. I'm going to select share from the download menu. I'm going to choose the option where it says file type. I want to choose PNG, okay? I'm going to choose PNG. This is the key to doing this. You have to save it as a PNG file. If you save it as a JPEG file, it's not going to be able to preserve that background. So if I choose PNG, and I choose transparent background again, make sure you select this box right over here, okay, to choose transparent background. And then I'm just going to make sure that I'm just selecting the current page, which is this one. And now I should be able to download. Okay, and while that file is downloaded, I just want to show you what's going to happen if I save this as a JPEG. You'll notice that it doesn't even give me the option to make that a transparent background. It's because it doesn't exist with that file type. So when you do this, again, just make sure to select PNG. Here it is in preview, and look at that. You can see the background has been removed. This icon is now I'm now able to use this icon in a presentation or anywhere else. So that is how to remove the white background around an image. Now let me show you another way to create a transparent image. Okay, so right over here I have this awesome photo of Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills quarterback. And what I wanna do is just cut Josh Allen out of this photo. So I'm going to do the same exact thing as I did before. I'm going to select edit photo, but this time I'm going to choose a different option. Now I can use background remover and that's going to give me the same effect. You can see I just removed the background. But let me show you one other option. That is this one. It's called Magic Grab. This is a feature in Canva that will recognize the subject that's in the foreground and actually allow you to move it out of the background. So take a look at this. I can just take Josh Allen and kind of move him anywhere else in that photo and you'll notice that Canva tried to fill that void with an image that looks consistent to what's around it, that generative fill feature, which is kind of cool. But in this case, I don't even want that background. So I'm just going to select the background and click delete. And now I have Josh Allen right over here in front of that transparent background. It's white. I could again change the color if I want to. I'm going to select share and then download. Remember, it has to be saved as a PNG file so we can save it with a transparent background. I'm just going to set this to just download the current page, which is slide number two. Let's go ahead and download this file. And boom, there it is. We have Josh right over here behind that transparent background that I can, again, use in a video or a presentation or wherever I want. So let me show you one last trick and this will happen from time to time so this is the adobe logo behind a white background of course the adobe logo is this white a in front of this red background so i'm going to go to edit photo and i'm going to choose background remover and look what happened canva was able to remove the white background but unfortunately it also removed the white in the adobe logo so here's what you can do if this background remover removes something in your image and you want to keep it 
we'll just keep that selected. I'll move over here to BG Remover. I'm just going to click those uh, levels that are right in the middle of the icon and I'm going to choose this option that says Restore. So when I select the original image like that, this will give me an idea of what I'm seeing. And now I can just kind of use my mouse to sort of fill that area that had been erased. Okay, I think that looks good. Let me go ahead and go back. Perfect, so now I have this logo and it's ready to be downloaded. Who remembers the format to share it in? Of course, we're gonna go share. We're gonna go download and we are going to choose PNG and we'll just specify this time I'm going to choose page number four. And if you want to, if you're doing like a video and you want the highest quality possible, you are welcome to slide this all the way up to the maximum number of pixels that are there. It should be fine. And then we'll select download and we'll be able to save this as a transparent image. So I showed you three different ways to save a photo as a transparent image in Canva. I hope this was helpful. Thank you again for watching this video. If you have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below.